And our focus right now on the big political fight that has broken out following Congress leader Shakil Ahmed's comment where he says the Indian Mujahideen was formed after the 2002 Gujarat riots. Now even as the BJP has attacked Shakil over this remark, the Congress has steered clear of the controversy, forcing Shakil Ahmed to issue a clarification. नरेंद्र मोदी जी पर नहीं है वो बीजेपी और आरएसएस के पूरे चरित्र पे एक तरह से है एनआईए जिसका गठन हुआ कि आतंकवादी गतिविधियों पर रोक लगाने के लिए और उनके बारे में छानबीन करने के लिए उसने इंडियन मुजाहिदीन पर चार्ज शीट फाइल किया है उनके लोगों पर ये किया है और सही है अगर वो गलत काम में इन्वॉल्व है तो चार्जशीट होना चाहिए लेकिन एन ने अपनी चार्जशीट में लिखा है कि इंडियन मुजाहिदीन का गठन गुजरात दंगों के रिएक्शन में हुआ तो ये हम सबों के लिए एक आई ओपनर है और जो भी लोग इस देश में सांप्रदायिक राजनीति करते हैं चाहे वो भाजपा के लोग हों चाहे वो आरएसएस के लोग हों चाहे वो शिवसेना के लोग हों उनको इस तरह के सांप्रदायिक राजनीति से बचना चाहिए इंडियन मुजाहिदीन गुजरात दंगों के काउंटर में हुआ अगर हम मान ले के साथ भी पड़ गया और वो इंडियन मुजाहिदीन के काउंटर में हुआ जो कर्नल पुरोहित और लोग थे तो उसके बाद तो ये सिलसिला एक के काउंटर में दूसरा दूसरे के काउंटर में तीसरा तीसरे के काउंटर में चौथा तो हमारे देश की क्या हालत हो जाएगी इसलिए जो मेन सोर्स है कम्युनिज्म फैलाने का इस देश में आर और भाजपा उसको सांप्रदायिक राजनीति से बचना चाहिए और जो लोग भी इस देश का भला चाहते हैं उनको इस बात के लिए भाजपा और आरएसएस पे दबाव बनाना चाहिए कि अपनी सांप्रदायिक राजनीति से वो परहेज करें तो मुसलमान अपने आप को हेल्पलेस महसूस करने लगा और जब हेल्पलेस महसूस करता है तो फिर वो टेररिज्म की तरफ को चलता है तो ये पॉसिबिलिटी हो सकती है शकील अहमद साहब ने जो कहा पॉसिबिलिटी हो सकती है today he seems to be representing madhubani module which is a terror module and from 2006 till 2013 about six people have been arrested from that uh, place uh, specific because it is shares borders with nepal and isi is very active in that region uh, going back to the history of indian mujahideen uh, is what uh, seems to be objective of mr shakil ahmed and he is today representing and not only justifying but sharing the objective of indian mujahideen and has sympathy to their cause well the bjp attacking that comment and the congress too distances itself from the statements made by shakil ahmed and rashid masood in fact congress leaders saying that's not the official line of the congress party I am afraid I'm not. Uh, since I was in this meeting this whole day, and then the meeting has not yet been concluded. We were busy with this workshop, and uh, I'm not aware of what uh, the two individuals have said, uh, what the birth of whatever it is. So we will uh, naturally familiarize ourselves before I can talk with any kind of authority. And uh, no, I do not think this is the Congress Party point of view as of now. I will be stand. I will stand corrected if it is proven otherwise. अगर शकील अहमद जी ट्वीट करें तो उनसे आप पूछिए ना एनआई के बारे में ट्वीट्स पे नहीं बताऊंगा ना कोई ट्वीट करेगा एनआई पे तो मैं ट्वीट्स पे नहीं बताऊंगा. If he is saying something, if he is saying something, ask. He is giving the tweets. You speak to him. Do you support his tweet? I have not even. I have not even read his tweet. So how, why don't you know what he has said? I have not. I have been in media. I have not read his tweet. If when I read my Meaning, I have not read his tweets. You, you have to ask no, him no, the question. Na. You have to ask him his tweet. Tweet, वो पूछे हैं. उनसे आप बात करिए ना. उन्होंने क्या किया? मैंने उनका tweet देखा ही नहीं है. तो मैं आपसे कैसे बोलूँ? क्या किया? Support करते हैं सच और उन्होंने कहा कि. अरे मैंने जब पढ़ा ही नहीं उनका tweet तो मैं क्या बोल दूँ? उन्होंने कहा था कि गोदरा. जब मैं मैं पढ़ लूँगा मैं आपकी बात नहीं मान Meanwhile, Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde also evading questions on Shakil Ahmed's tweet. While the Congress seems to be steering clear of this comment, the BJP has hit back further at the Congress, including uh, accusing it of indulging in vote bank politics, asking the Congress to clarify what the official position of the party really is. I don't know who speaks the line of Congress. 
Digvijay Singh says something on Batla House, Congress withdraws. Shakil Ahmad says something on uh, Indian Mujahideen, Congress withdraws. I think it is a deliberate ploy of Congress party to fix certain spokesperson and when the country reacts very strongly as to why you are playing with national security, then you silently withdraw. Sorry, I regret to say, Congress has nothing to offer, no answer at all for the series of uh, malgovernance, corruption, price rise, inflation, unemployment. Now you are playing with national security? Please don't do it. People are waiting for answers. Let the election come and they will give the answer. What he spoke was rank falsehood. Indian Mujahideen's birth has nothing to do with Gujarat riot. It was born when Simi was banned in the 90s. As a product of that, under patronage of Lashkar e Taiba and across the border. They undertook terrorist activity in Calcutta before the Gujarat riot. They have attacked Jaipur, Bangalore, UP, Sankat Mochan Mandir in Kashi, Pune. And all these acts of terrorism they have owned up very clearly and categorically. Government of India banned Indian Mujahideen in 2010. America, England banned it in 2007 and 8. Now I fail to understand what are you saying? Are you playing with national security? Are you not giving a handy to Indian Mujahideen elements? When even, I am told even Delhi police has found there no evidence of their linkage with Gujarat riots. If that is the case, I am aghast, except to say it is a copybook case of rank vote bank politics.